Greetings, traveler. Let's try the hand buff thing. Let's just see where we get. I don't know. Hey. Deck told me to try and go for the buffs. So, I think if you're going for this kind of style, you're a bit slower and you're going to kind of swarm them with value. So, either a heal or a taunt does sound good. And I think the safeguard just heals you for more, right? So, I think I'm going to pick... I'm going to pick a regular curve as much as I can, but add big taunts and hand buffs and stuff. You're not a fan of the hand buffs? Well, the regular Paladin deck I played earlier today was pretty darn boring. So, if the hand buffs aren't fun or good, then I may just not do Paladin. I don't know. Mage is pretty fun right now. You know, as much as you hate facing Conjurer's Calling, it's really fun to play with it. Uh, Hunter is really fun right now. Mark Shot's super nice. So I already have two classes. I'm not desperate to pick a Paladin. So we'll see. <laughs> uh, I guess the Brewmaster could be a pick, right? If you're going to run Outfitters. But it's pretty slow. I mean, they're all pretty bad. I'll pick it. Uh, this kind of deck, we might even want to play on hands, right? Hey, Max, thank you for the 14 months. Welcome back. Faces Rager, probably not that premium, because if we're buffing, it won't get the plus one here. I guess it'll get buffed off the minion you're buffing, but you know, may as well just pick the good curve stuff. Probably Proud Defender if we're doing this kind of deck. We'll see. Big Paladin. Easy Big Paladin. Big fan of Pings and Pally. Not the Crusader, one of the other two. If we end up with a Silver Sword, Phantom Militia can be super good. I've been very annoyed by it recently. Why not Crusader? Um, I'm trying something new. The first thing to go when I try something new is my mid game. My poor mid game always has to make room for the shenanigans. It's because you can't really cut out all your early game. And if you're going to cut out all your late game, maybe you're going to be super aggro. So the logical conclusion when you try something new is you cut out the mid game. Sort of justice. Yeah, I'm thinking about just adding Shovel Fist and just going all the way. Because when you are building a deck that's designed around staying alive, you do need to win the late game. I think so. Just have some fun with the big ass deck. See what happens. <laughs> Alright, let's do it. Big taunts, big taunts and hand buffs and see where we land. Hand buffing this is actually, the moment it hits plus one plus one, it's an actual good minion, right? Because three damage is sort of the threshold to be relevant at that stage of the game. Two is just too little. Four is really good. Thank you for the 19. Dude, 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 warning. What the fuck? <laughs> I'm sorry, man. Sorry to hear that. I'm just going to continue with the stream. Sorry, that's too, that's too far where from where my mind was just now. I'm sorry, bro. Uh, yeah, I think I was picking the Berserker, right? Okay, I'll give that a go. If you're doing the hand buff thing, it's the Herald, so let's give that a go. <laughs> Oof. Is it is it time for your boy chat? Probably not. I don't think we have anything, right? We got the Herald. That might be it. Somebody's falling asleep here. Mm. And she looks up at me like, no, I'm not. Don't you ever forget that. Safeguard as well, yeah. 
But yes, sorry, sorry, Zep. I'm so really sorry to hear. It. Like, I can't, I, I can't really react to that properly on stream. I, I assume you know that, right? That one drop could have been a legendary. Yup. And when they play a big taunt, you're gonna say, "I'm so happy this is not a Prince Liam." Ooh, these are all good. All right, you've been doing the uh, you've been doing the paladin thing, Sasap. You still pick the shtick here, or do you go with the consec? My instinct is the shtick, but I can see consec. We do have uh, lay on hands, black knight for later, and some taunts. Grime, obviously, uh, probably not for this deck. Although it's not bad, it's not bad, but I don't think it's what this deck needs, right? Always through silver? I think so, yeah. It felt pretty darn good when I was playing earlier. Probably a piggy here. It's fine. Not a two drop. Do you ever consider the protector with buffed minions and taunts? Well, so you want... this. It's a hard to explain concept, right? But just drafting cards that synergize well with your other cards that's usually not enough if you're if you're drafting sort of a meme -y deck like this you need to draft stuff that keep you al that keeps you alive uh when you're when you're trying to when you're trying to build something that's a bit unconventional you know we're doing the hand buff thing it's not like super unconventional but you're giving up some power to uh buff to get power later you're gonna need something to keep you alive and the protector is a bit too much you might say well it's taunt and it buffs your guys but if you're in a position where your protector is good on curve then you were probably gonna win that anyway but what we're picking is we're picking true silver for the games where we won't have anything on board to buff right so that's the um that, that's the that's the logic behind that and that's why we're also picking some more taunts. Oh, do I just pick the... Yeah, I just picked the Enforcer, right? That's too much fun not to. The Batterhead might honestly be better, but we're, we're drafting a hand buffy deck. Let's have fun with it. It's the immediate reaction you have. Your soul shall be mine. I will fight with honor. You get a loss after this game. That's what used to happen, but I think they fixed it. I don't think you get the loss anymore. But yeah, a couple years ago you'd get the loss. You could hold, but if you make a dude into militia into buffed yeti into heal buffed yeti, you probably win. So let's not be stupid. I'll make the trade, because if he has Evil Genius, it'll be harder for him to set it up. He might play the Lackey and then Genius, but let's say the Lackey is a Rush minion, uh, or the Rush Lackey, rather, it's gonna be more difficult. <laughs> That's nice. Um, but it's Yeti, right? Because we have the Hosen. Popna Popna. Uh, it's zero zero Frita. It's on the score. Uh, it's on the screen. Don't have a soul fire, please. Someone called He just made our hosen a lot juicier. We appreciate that. Medivh would say, oh, I appreciate that. Hold on, kill this. Get some schmirk in there. Schmirk, schmirk, schmirk. Schmirk, schmirk, schmirk. We could have been really cute and healed the taunt and tried to keep everything alive, but that's usually how you end up losing versus AoE classes. 
I find it much more um, efficient, I would say, to let one of them die and to keep two strong guys rather than to keep two weak guys and one strong guy. Uh, yeah, subs don't get ads, exactly. Not on my stream. Uh, it's not everywhere the same. Some stream, you, I think that, okay, so I think the first one is like very old streamers or old channels rather. <laughs> old streamers don't play ads, right? But old channels, they, um, when they first gave out the sub button, that meant they wouldn't see any ads. So I think that happened. But then uh, later on, you'd have to choose whether you want to play ads or not for your for your subs. Mm. <gasps> Pog. There are channels where subs gets at gets at. You can you can choose that yourself. You can uh, you can enable that or disable that. I think I will actually. You know what, chat? I think I shall. For value. For great value. I don't think I want to get wrecked by the mana addict, but if I kill a 2 2. My main problem is, um. An AoE here. Yeti gets. Yeti goes face every time. If he trades everything into the panda, that's fine. I could see some weird curse of weakness turn where the mana addict completely rolls us. So. How big is the soldier? Uh, one buff, I think. Six, seven. <laughs> well, it sort of fits, so why not? Let's go. Been a lot of people that have challenged me to a smork off lately. Except. I don't know what they do, man, when they don't trade. I'm not sure what you can have that makes me not want to go face here, my man. <laughs> oh my god. Do I just keep it? Because it's a play. I think I do, right? Yeah. All right. Give me a good minion here. And then we're popping off. We buffing, baby. We buffing. Just a good minion here. Come on. Yeah, good enough. The first round of buffs. Hey, goon, over here. Hey, goon, over here. I do have to say that this is already a lot more fun than what I was playing this morning. So, oof, that's a good target. This is the second round of buffs. Four eight, which becomes a six eight when it's solo. A 4-5 with upside, and a 4-3 that spawns a 1-1 one, one taunt for two. Not bad. I could draft those cards. My blade be thirsty. <laughs> My blade be thirsty. I guess we played a 4-8 taunt and hope nothing too bad happens. Those are famous last words when you're leaving frothing up, but I don't think we have much of a choice. Is Muffin asleep? No, she's tired, but she's not. She's like, kind of want to play, but I'm also tired and maybe a little hungry. You know that mood, chat? You're fucking joking, man. What is this crap? So bullshit. A ghoul, it doesn't matter when I trade or not. 
Dude, he pulled the fucking kings. Are you kidding me? That's so specific. And then yeah, everything. Uh. Man, I'm gonna go to no help. Are you fucking kidding me? This is so bullshit. So bullshit. This game is just being stolen away from us, chat. Execute? Let's go execute, right? And all he had to do was pull a kings, right? That was it. Nothing else required. Hey, dude, over here. Famous last words? Yeah, but I mean, I couldn't do anything about it. It's not like I chose to leave the frothing up. I think the game is telling me to go offline, chat. You could kill your minion. This is the problem, right? Where you're, where you mix the, like frothing berserker was never meant to have access to kings. You have rampage, right? But then you need to damage your guy first. But frothing berserker was never meant to be mixed with kings. It's just because they started going tri-class discover stuff. It's just, ugh. That's a little sad. More Euro P? Not quite. But uh, it's just annoying that you just take a free loss like that. Especially when you're off to a fun start. And then you just go like, surprise! Now, coin renounced darkness. That is an opener I can get behind. If this guy destroys us, right, I can sort of live with it. He earned it. That's the balls play right there. Follow up with the gargoyle, not so much, right? Yeah, yeah, great exa If I have a true silver there, I don't lose the game. <laughs> Show us nothing. She Time went off. Ready. I think she's gone off to sleep somewhere. Double pay. And double pay. And double pay. Play the game out, but concede out of respect. Well. Then we're going to teach him that it's okay to meme but not succeed. You should do successful memeing, right? We don't hand out participation trophies in this stream. I guess I'll trade for Dragonfire, right? So he doesn't kill the 6-6. Six -six. Sort of stopped thinking too much about this game. So. Ready to get wrecked now that I'm no longer paying attention. I should probably just save this way. Whole tail card draw? Yeah, I just think that there's no turn for card draw. I just jam the minions and kill them. So I don't think that playing the outfitter here is bad. I also don't think that holding it is particularly terrible. I don't think I ever play Lay on Hands. I think I play cards and start to kill him, right? Drink the power. Drink the power. You win this time. Uther versus Arthas. 
he identified as a priest. Get me out of this class. Not pleased with this offering. Side effects? No. Trust me. I think now we do it in the next turn, coin a 3 5 against this board. He looks to be going all in. I don't think I can hold very long. If I play the Murloc, it just gets farmed. Change my hero power season? Well, I mean, this is the same one, right? It just makes Murlocs instead. You might actually have synergy with it. But a lot of the time, it's just a Dire Mole. <laughs> Not yet, but maybe next turn. I need that 3-5 on the board now. Wouldn't it be better to coin out Grizzly? Uh, I mean, in an ideal world, yeah. But I need to start killing things. Because the moment I... Oh, what the fuck? Yep, yep, just throw it all in there. Yep, yep, yep. I swear, dude, people just do stuff. The amount of games I win, because, you know, I haven't, I haven't won yet, but... People just don't know when they're the aggro, right? After you've played three one-drops, you should probably not be trading a whole bunch for your opponent. Yeah, that trade you should take, of course. Right? I'm even starting to think, was there a much better play I could have done? But I'm not even sure. Getting the buff down was pretty good. Alright, hold down the fort, my man. He hold him. He hold him the fort. After the 6 goes in, he needs 5. So you could kill the 3-2. And try to be greedy here. Playing the 2-4 taunts does not make that much sense yet. If this Brewmaster was an actual 4 without bouncing, I could go dude bounce, but or dude no bounce. But if I'm not even making a dude, then I don't think I can talk myself into playing a 6-6. Six, six, or not playing a 6-6 six, six when I, you know. You, you see my point. It's a bit of a cheeky hit, right? You're trying to get both the Scribe and the 5-4 out of him, which is unlikely, but at least now you force him to deal extra damage. Whereas if you kill the 5-4, all he needs to do is push the Scribe in. Okay, so cheeky play, but it's paying off. Because he's just not going to kill it now, right? Or he does exactly what you want him to do, that is also fine. No problem there. Who? This is double militia, is it not? Can you explain the implications of nerf? It's a bit early for that, but likely Hunter and Mage are gonna be top dogs. Uh, we'll see if there's like an unexpected challenger. But Hunter and Mage should be top dogs, and I don't think they killed off Warlock at all. Warlock still has access to Genius and Abyssal, just less. I think we will just spam Militias. Even though it's ugly, we should do it here. There's a world where your 6-1 uh, lives now. It's off-curve, it's pre-hand buff, it's very ugly. Very ugly turn to Militia, but... Sometimes you, you can't just look at the Mana Crystals. You gotta look at the board and a bunch of two four trons versus a one ones. Could be good here. Alright, humility. We can just bounce it. <laughs> this pig, man, this pig worked hard. He can rest now, right? That's a 6 9, by the way. I had not seen that yet. Okay. That's a big, big Nerubian. Mmm. 
I guess we're not bouncing a piggy, we're just trading, right? It's putting a three and a five out. Just gotta mess around until we can shovel fist. <sighs> uh, Silver Sword is in the meta. I believe it's Witchwood, right? Witchwood is in the meta. Oh man. <laughs> that could have been really, really good. Alright, how do I solve this awkward board state? Is it double trade and then shovel fist the 3 2? Because if I shovel fist the 6 7 double trade, it's really awkward. Hmm. At 10 health, I guess I'm okay playing it safe. Yeah. Oh, 11. <laughs> I buffed it twice already. <laughs> That's great. I forgot I already buffed it twice. Why is Brew labeled repeatable this turn and not Echo? Which is Brew? Uh, I think it's because they want to keep the keyword in Witchwood, but I'm not sure. I mean, don't quote me on that. But I do believe that was the reason. Summoning portal opened. Summoning portal opened. Ooh. Okay. Buff guy, come back. You should watch your cards while you play Hearthstone. Don't chat and play. Play responsible. This poor man. This is cruel. Somebody should do something about it. I was thinking about buffing again, but yeah, let's let's just let's, let's go to the next game, shall we? It's way more fun to buff more stuff first, right? But I think if you put a five five down, you, your win percentage increases. Not that I think you lose after that. Can you make the nerfs text bigger? Honestly, I feel like we have achieved the proper size because. The amount of people that have asked in chat has significantly reduced. I'm quite pleased with the, the solution we have. If only that Black Knight would have been a Prince Liam. Yeah, I wasn't going to rub it in chat, but, you know, you set me up for it now, so appreciate that. I will give it the deck. This is fun. This is fun. We buffing. Buff on the stuff and the things. What? Really? Yeah, we haven't seen the uh, Enforcer yet. That's true. I know I'm pointing at an invisible deck list. Excuse me. What if you make the text change color with that help? I'm, this is fine. We're pretty happy. <laughs> I mean, unless you're joking, of course. We're, we're pretty happy with... The visibility. Probably Caligos, Benny. I don't think you're ever sad to drop Caligos. And you could definitely be sad dropping this off. This is a 3 5, this is a 3 7, but there's obviously upside here. I think I'll just play the 3 5. Tip 
It's not blurry snow. Maybe you should get your eye eyesight checked. It's perfectly acceptable. I've been watching the stream for two hours now. Only noticed the nerf when it was mentioned. Uh, that's because you are just focused on the gameplay. No amount of texts debating can can save you from that. <laughs> Let's go! Ah. We got a big hit, boys! Oh. <laughs> Four eight. Oh baby. Oh baby, baby. Mm. And that's why I like picking the safeguards when you're building this deck. You're gonna need to come back after you slow yourself down, right? Uh, I guess Shadow Strike? What else do you point immediately that doesn't require combo? Not Perditions, not a Psy. Is that a different one, guys? I think it's a different one, right? A ding ding ding! Jackpot hit! Sap? Oh yeah, could be a Sap. I don't know. I could have just not seen it correctly. Deploy the first taunt. Oh, it could be a backstab. That's true. Could be a backstab. And then he realized, like, eh, I'm just gonna play my echo card. I think it was one of these two cards. Eleven hour stream, monk ass. Oh, it is. Hmm. Oh, my girlfriend's not home this weekend, so... What else can I do? At some point, Muffin's gonna get a little whiny, but rightfully so, then I'll probably go off. Sapping that would be suicide? Eh, well, he could dare me to play it, and if he has a good reply, we'll see. You have a time frame on Monday when you have time? Oof. I've got a really, really busy day, Snow, so... It might, I mean, it'll probably work out if I can just ping you, but if you're really busy as well, then it probably won't work out. Uh, busy, busy day coming up. Have you been enjoying the update? I've been enjoying Hunter. I did play a sort of boring paladin earlier today. I've played a warrior, played a druid. Like everything's been okay. Just it feels like warrior and druid are a lot of work, but I haven't done poorly with them. Uh, what what did I did with the second druid? Uh, let me have a look at the second druid. It's been like sevens and eights and stuff. Yeah, seven. So I've had an eight win druid, seven win druid, seven win warrior. Um, not so like stable, not like insane, but just okay. Still a lot of lackey spamming. Uh, well, the classes that can will, yeah. Rogue a little less because they really, really destroyed Miscreant, it seems. Uh, but Evil Genius is uh, still pretty present. Think. Still aggro for you overall or more value now? I mean, I'm always going to gravitate towards aggressive stuff. I think it's more fun. Oh god, please no. Chat is popping off. That's the backstab. Chat's been paying attention. At least he's rolling ravens and no move close. Alright. Shovel fist to the rescue. I haven't just I haven't touched a card, Kangan. Just have not have not felt the need to try it out. Get out of here. I think this is the deck where you trade. Plus, he might actually take nine, and then it's worth it. Well, she's on a... Oh, uh, right after I say rogues don't get this anymore. Um, she's on weekends with her uh, sisters and, and parents. Uh, so 
I doubt that they'll be, she'll be watching my stream. Tan tan tan. They just give good. They give the strong classes less good cards, uh, Hamiero, and the weak classes better cards. Oh, yeah, yeah, so if a cart gets nerfed, it gets nerfed in every mode. There's no custom cards specifically. Well, there were custom cards, but no custom nerfs. Uh, there were custom cards for Arena at one point, like Blazing Longsword. That thing was insane. <laughs> That's like Super Collider, but better. <laughs> oh my god. What does he have in his hands? He's got two lackeys. He's got a blink fox. It could be the blink fox one. He could have pulled lay on hands or something. Yeah, he could have thistle tea or sprint, but he pulled a pally card, so his uh, his buff might be the pally card. We can't uh, rule that out. This is the lackey. Alright. Good thing we got the sniper. I knew it would come in handy. I've been saying- what? Oh, okay, 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 okay. Okay. I was about to go like- I think it's time to just tempo my shit. Need to make a stance for the board. I've been trying to get value out of it, it's not gonna happen. Gotta make a stand here. Oh, we ready if he taunts, man. Mm, we ready. <laughs> Imagine if I could coin, right? Play the piggy, coin the black knight. Be like, oh. <laughs> That'd be so good. Spooky board. We got yeah, we gotta we gotta make a push. We can't just keep getting cleared over and over and over again. It's it's tough to know when when you need to do it, but I feel like at 20 health here, if I keep missing around, it could get pretty bad really fast. Alright, so it is a rogue spell that he has. So it is probably sprinter thistle tea. Wait. Where did he get it from? Help me out, chat. Where did he get it from? Oh, that was the Huckster card. Right. Got it. Okay, so he probably still has the Pally, like Leon Hands or something. Let me think. A stranger will offer you aid. Maybe the piggy will give him a false sense of security that the taunts are okay now. <laughs> Come on, man. Play a taunt, man. All right. Saperino the Hosen. Could just poke the pally with a stick. Come on, man. Oh! Oh, get, get fucked. <laughs> Holy shit. I have never seen this card and I know why. <laughs> Oof. Oof. Oh. <laughs> oh, that was good. 
I thoroughly enjoyed that. Why would you play that? Well, I mean, he's going like, come on, Diggy. I rolled my one drop. Come on, Diggy did not work out for him. Who you want me kill? <laughs> Who you want me kill? <laughs> I want to spam town. I want to spam town. He did play a town, smiley face. That he did. That he did. Good lad. Good lad playing a town. This, is this the lackey? No. Tango fur. Chat, I don't think we're going to get value. Shipping face. I want the spam taunts. Ah, uh, this is a cheater deck, Ba. You should look away. I use hand buffs to fall behind on tempo, and then I play taunts to save my ass and play over stat and minions. It's quite fun, but very, very cheaty. Perfect draw. Yeti on turn three, Bulldogfist on turn four. Feels okay, man. <laughs> oh, baby. I think I still play my Bulldogfist, but we'll find a good turn for you. It's all this time. Go, go, pull the fists. What a helpful stranger. Absolutely. Draw the panda next and just keep popping off. Popping up, popping up, popping up, popping up. He's got a four mana seven seven. Well, what is a 4 mana 7 against the might of a 1-1 one, one Murloc taunt? Or Goose taunt? Bolts, okie dokie. You monster. It's a good turn to buff again. This is so much better when it's buffed. All right, we're ready. Whee! Hey, Dima, thank you for the 20 months. Welcome back, man. Dude, it was so good to see you streaming again. Or for a little bit, right? I don't want to debate anyone. Dima's been streaming one day a week, guys. So if you don't know who that man is, go give him a follow. Did a lot of co-ops in the past. A lot of 12s. A lot of good stuff. Oh man, I thought I missed those. Like... <gasps> okay. So far, the hand buff plan is going excellent. 
Looks like you're having fun with this deck. Yeah, I will absolutely uh, give deck my compliments and say, you know what? That hand buff stuff is pretty fun. I can't stand to play normal Paladin, man. So, me. We all thought you missed, yeah. We can... Rude. Rude. All right, so our opponent can coin the lifesteal guy, which is a little bit annoying. So lowering the health on our six, seven to four seems like a bad idea. So let's use this guy instead. Mm. I think we're gonna run out of space soon, right? Because we have these militias, so I'll probably use the one ones instead. The battle. Now he does not have an amazing walking fountain. Whereas if you put your six, seven to four, it gets pretty decent. Do you think they'll keep roading sets in arena? Yeah, I think so. I do think so. <laughs> well, that could have been a Prince Liam, guys. I'm just saying, okay? Reporting for duty. None shall... Black Knight is such a nasty card. Are we done here? Oh, he had it. Oh, he has the buff again. Oh, no, it's a rock biter. That's still pretty annoying. Scheme can save him. This is more annoying than Scheme. How dare he? How dare he? Why did he not kill the soldier? Oh, uh, I think he was also thinking about the plus two plus two. Because I didn't see the kill on the soldier either because I thought he was coining the plus two. Or he's trying to keep it alive for coins, but nobody would be that stupid, right guys? Come on now. It's turn nine for crying out loud. You don't need coins. He's like, well, this always happens. Oh, fuck, aren't I? <laughs> That's his thought process. This always happens. God, I'm fucked. <laughs> yeah, that's not gonna cut him, I mean. Then a taunt out of... Oh! Dirk, dirk, dirk! That's such a nasty combo. Did we go for that? Sure, why not? You're not playing the spider tank then. Let's just top deck the Grime Street Outfitter here. Seems like a good play. Where are you, Eddie? No hand buff? 
not currently present, no. I know a guy in Tataran Warrior. Dang. Come on, man. Just jam a Yeti or something. I'll take it. I was just asking myself, if this gets to free kill something and then you're hosing it, just always in a good spot, right? Hosen just felt like a really good pick for this deck. Gonna have lots of high health minions. Alright, Apple Bomb here. Let's go. Disgusting. Hey, hey, hey. We are very, very skillfully setting up these turns. Let's not underestimate how much work it takes to do these kind of magnificent plays. Grizzly seems bad. Let's just play Yeti. Let me think. Yeti makes me trade. Uh, I don't want to, but I don't want to trade. But I don't want to trade, man. Seven cards. That's oh, shit. One. But I don't want to trade. But otherwise he'll kill your Yeti. But now he has five extra health. Cloud Defender. I was looking at it, but then I just enable his hog and everything. Me, 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 me. I feel like it's just better to play the Yeti and trade. But mom, I don't want to trade. I want to go face like little Timmy. A little Timmy's gonna lose his Yeti, and then he's gonna wish he traded. I don't care. He took the five after all. Feels okay, man. What is this? Take your medicine. Oh. Okay. I can live with these things. I don't know, man. He's on 30. Should probably just take a thing off the board. It's going to take a long time until they ask 10 mana for more path on 5. What is he saying? I don't know. <laughs> I legit don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what he's saying. Five cards. We get a better. We get a better, can't we, Grizzly? Disgusting use of Rocketeer. I'm reporting this guy. I don't know about you guys. Oh, why did I put it over there? I'm so used to putting the highest damage guy in the middle, but it should go on the edge. Yeah, it's been it's been a while. We streamed a little bit today. Now this game dick day! Dick dick dick. Then it's on five. Then it's Three. Oh, man, he skipped Dig Day. 
I'm kind of a monster with Skim Dig Day. Probably gonna get Warpathed again. What am I gonna do? Not Shovel Fist? I should probably think about it. This is how I started losing games earlier today. Yeah, honestly, not Shovel Fisting is better. It's pretty boring. Shovel Fist the 3-3? Three, three. Well, then you may as well not Shovel Fist at all, right? Then he just executes and goes, <laughs> My thanks. We can't give that to him, chat. Can't give your emote. You can't give your opponent an amazing emote play on curve. What is this guy's health again? It's actually kind of relevant. I need to know that. Aww. He wanted to get a lot of value. I guess it's health doesn't really matter. I'm just gonna trade and lay on hands anyway. Wait, I... Yeah, I take the damage first, yeah. I was, think I was thinking like... Oh, I'm healing the... Oh my god, dude. Probably should stop playing soon, huh? <laughs> <laughs> uh. Now, to be fair, it's been a long time since I have drafted Lay on Hands. I was like, wait, I don't get it. <laughs> well, of course you wouldn't get it, Dreads, right? Someone who values Life Drinker that highly. Could never understand this sort of complex play. Oh man. Well, probably doing this. I guess we're playing these things. Yep. Slap them on the board. Probably taking damage on this. And then let's play around some whirlwind shit. Hey, there we go. I don't know how you do 11 hours, my brain goes after 7. Mine too! That's my secret. <laughs> Everything gets a little bit funnier, <laughs> like this life. <laughs> like the lay on hands. Alright, do we take that? We probably do. Yeah, I think that play sort of decides for us. Get him. Alright, the goal is to get a million damage in his face. Goal achieved. Hey. Bunk. Oh, hey, you sure? How are you, man? Got him, boys! I have to say, right? I have, I've said it a couple times this run, this hand muffing thing is rather fun. Because I've done some testing, and I think if I play some more runs tomorrow, and we do one or two chat traps, it should be enough for me to make a short video at least. I kind of want to keep this, but that's stupid, right? Let's find those hand buffs. Or not. I got a two drop. Is someone injured? Yeah, single player content. God. Uh oh, this guy just went full Northshire.
I guess we should probably mill him, right, chat? <laughs> wow, he didn't draw. The restraint. It's all fun and games until you meet a priest with talent priest on curve, right? Everybody's a hero until they meet a talent priest on curve. This is where we separate the men from the boys. I think we lose. <laughs> oh, do I just give him a militia? I don't know. I could trade in this and put the defender down, but then this is on two, so what's the point? Ugh. Mill him with the hosen. Yeah, the thing is I can't even hosen, right? Oh, I can't even hosen. Well, I mean, I guess I could, but it's not advised. Not advisable. I think so. I, I don't think I win, but I feel if I played a militia, nothing's gonna move. <sighs> All right. Yeah, a priest that prefers a talent priest on curve rather than a an arcane intellect. That is scary. All right. Well, it's not got that forbidden words crap, so that's good. Oh, we're going in? Really, no. I guess he can free kill it with the 1 6. So, what? I don't understand this play, chat. Oh, he's baiting me into the hose and he's good. That's where we have like the Ben Broad meme now. Like, he's good. Do I give it to him? He's gonna get so many cards! Kill the healer? No, nah, you'd kill the 3-4. Because if you if you hose in, it's going to be a 2-6, and then the 3-4 lines up too nicely. So you have to kill this. Like, that's basically... This is basically done, right? We got to do that. May as well do that before I fuck it up. Free arcane intellect. Well, at least he won't be able to fit any more cards in his hand soon. We've got that going for ourselves. Oh, look. Ten cards in his hand. We're good now, boys. Don't have to worry about him drawing anymore. You wish to <laughs> Stop. Stop, please. I'm already dead. It's mill time, yo. Too bad we're out of healing, so he gets to decide what he draws, but we'll make him heal his minions. We'll we'll figure something out. God, man. How did I end up in this mess? Oh, he played two Norchires and two Talon Priests. That's what happened. Yeah, I pre-bumped the Cleric, because I guess we want to kill him at some point. I mean, the Fatigue game is all but secured already, right? Just look how far we're ahead, guys. Only 15 more cards he needs to draw, and then he's dead. Hmm. Yeah, Talon Priest being a card is just yeah. It's like Temple Enforcer is a really strong is a really strong card. And it's on an understat at six. Talon Priest, same effect on an overstat at three. Or or at least premiumly stat at three. Did you play another one? You did. You ooh. Nasty, I tell you, nasty. Well, at least we can buff our hand again. Ho, ho, ho. I think we do. Oh, oh, how good are two militias here? And kill this and kill this. Three. 
one. Yeah, they're pretty terrible. Sure, whatever. I don't give a shit anymore. Winning this game will be a long shot anyway. We killed the cleric though. Now the milling is gonna go a lot slower. Alright, well, we just need him to jam a Furious at near. Draw some cards! T -t 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 draw some cards! Draw his cards! <sighs> Well, I'm glad someone's having fun. Should have left the other Northshire up. Yeah, he was waiting to Nova until I killed one of them. He's like, come on, kill one of them. How many cards he has left? Ah, like three or so. Eleven. Close. Can you please interact with the Hearthstone board more? Please, fire that catapult. You know what? I'll poke the Zeppelin. We're gonna hear it again here, chat. Get ready. Stop attacking my shit. Oh, he has budget talent priests as well. Must be nice, must be nice. Why did he pop the bubble? I'm past paying attention what he's doing on his board. We're poking the Zebulon on his turn. <laughs> I don't know, this might be the last game. It's getting a little silly even for me. Never skip this game. And he's player one. <laughs> he gets to shovel fist first. Life is not fair, my dear viewers. Mine is bigger. Mm. This is your fault for not saving the coin for the shovel fist turn. Mm. Of course, of course. Can't have a good priest deck without a little bit of secret agent coming through. <laughs> Oh man, he has three Talon Priests? I don't even know how you get a Cultist. Is that not like unpickable in its bucket? I don't know, man. No Taunt in sight as well. Oh wow, this card is amazing. Grandpa, this card is useless. <laughs> <sighs> he had a triple secret agent deck oh my god did it just go 12 threats or were you gonna like rush down sometimes he has two clerics as well right yeah double cleric triple talent priest dark cultist Holy Nova, which is still pretty expensive to pick. Draconid Operative. Shovel. Oops. Number two activated. Of course, of course, of course. Very nice, very nice indeed. A smuggler's run. How useful. <laughs> I wish I would buff my guys. All right, it's okay, I guess. I've already played some outfitters. Put it 
And now Black Knight, my safeguard. Please, man. Just to finish it off. Just hit him, baby. Hit him, baby. <laughs> oh, that's about as good. Let's see if it's snakes. I get you baited. We did not get you baited, as one could say. Does your back still hurt? I mean, it will probably never stop hurting. The Datsuki. But that's <laughs> Well, I was going piggy. But now we're no longer going piggy. You know what I'm saying, chat? Sometimes you just feel like you're going piggy. And then you're no longer going piggy. Exercise, homie.
I've been exercising for... You don't get to eat steak, ribs, sit on your ass all day, and then not be fat if you're not exercising at some point, right? <laughs> uh, right. Uh, maybe you do are if you are blessed with a godlike metabolism. <clears throat> I'm, I'm not really. Uh, I love how this freezing trap is destroying him. <laughs> He's trading everything. It's like this thing has gotten an insane amount of value already. All it needs to do is sit here and it's the shield that says your opponent, which is a hunter, will trade every single minion you play. <laughs> That's great. I love that. All right, um, if I freeze this, it goes to seven mana. It's not worth it. So it could be time to say goodbye to our soldier here. I'd love to hand buff again, but it's probably better to play both of these. Maybe not. Maybe hand buffing again is better because these right now get kind of killed, right? Anyways, I didn't mean to dismiss your comments. Let's, we can talk about it in a little bit. I don't mind. I mean, I was 99% sure it was freezing, but you may as well play the piggy, right? <laughs> oh, and again? I haven't been paying attention how long. Yeah, I, it must be, right? If he's attacking that way. It must be. Alright, well, these are 6-6s. Six Safeguard gets kind of farmed. Well, I mean, if you're gonna pull something back, you'd rather pull the piggy back, I think, right? Or not? How does he go in? This and a 1-1 one, one kill that, and then 4 goes into the 0-5. If he goes full face here, gets too awkward, I think. Do we just need to assume we draw our way out of it? We might, we might. Our 1-1 one, one survives. Wait, which 1-1? One, one? What am I talking about? Okay, anyways, I'm gonna do my play. But... Oh! Holy shit! Almost debated. Our 1-1 one, one survives if you safeguard. But what? Which 1-1? One, one? <laughs> you mean we make a dude for the freezing? I mean, I'd rather put a 6-6 on board. But it's true, we could have made a dude for the freezing. Your 1-1 one -one is 6-6 shaped. Yeah, I find it harder for them to remove 6-6s six than 1-1s. One Call me crazy! But I've been having that idea. Let me think. Reporting for duty. Deploy the boys. 
but yeah, red shirt. Uh, I've been I've been exercising for a long time. It's it's just a mixture of things, um, and exercise helps for sure. Exercise helps absolutely. No doubt in my mind that it'd be way worse if I wasn't exercising. I've been exercising a little less recently, just because there's a. <clears throat> I had a really busy month yesterday. Yesterday. <laughs> You mean you know what I mean? I had a really busy month last month, and uh, it's a little worse now. So yeah, mm. it's very uh, it's very normal. <laughs> oh wow! Feels okay, man. Positioning and shit, right? Shady did the amount of work for a month in a single day. It's how hard I work, guys. What a weird hunter game. Or hunter versus paladin match. Yeah, that's too real life. But because I've been exercising for so long, I'm sort of used to uh, pain anyway, right? So in a weird way, I even like it when I'm exercising. Like, if I'm not sore after workouts, right, the day after, I'm actually kind of disappointed. Oh, new emotes. There we go. Like, I'll actually ask myself, damn, what did I do wrong, right? What did I do wrong? Why am I not sore? Shady's a masochist. A little bit, yeah, a little bit. When it comes to exercise, for sure. Is Shady a Pepega? After the 8th hour, maybe the 7th hour, the Pepega levels do tend to rise. This is true. Not sure if I meet the threshold of becoming an actual Pepega, but... We definitely are more Pepega pe pe inclined. Trade Proud Defender is not bad, but Yeti Go Face is probably just a little less um, vulnerable, right? Because then I, my Yeti doesn't go to two power next turn if I play something. And I get to push two face. Uh, the funny thing is, like, even if you, even if you're not sore, it doesn't mean you haven't had a good workout. It's just like I've I've been conditioned to feel that way. <laughs> but it's definitely not mandatory. You don't have to be sore for it to be a good workout. Because even for for some kind of uh, for for a lot of sports, even it's more beneficial to not work out until you're sore. Because it just like lowers the volume of workouts you can do. Um, Fend Creeper here. Will it do? I think it will. Ah, oh, it's gonna get so much better though. Is that stupid to not play Fend Creeper here? It's kind of stupid, right? Yeah. Find creepers is way better. For the Lich King! Oh, wow. Where were you, my man? Where were you? I feel like this gets marked shot. So I'm not in a super hurry to play it. 
Then again, if I play it, while I put the Yeti to one health, it's less likely as a punish. They're definitely pretty decent buff targets. Gnomish gets a whole lot better. This gets a whole lot better. These are just fine, right? They definitely don't get worse. <laughs> that's 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 one way to look at it. They don't get worse. Oof. Oh baby. I feel like we just you know raise the wall here. Try to prevent them from getting through. Guess we'll check for freezing first, right? To get above the grizzly. It's pretty solid. I'd like to card draw, or I'd like to card draw. Man, man. At the start of the stream, like in the weekends, I do just sort of roll out of bed, get food, and start streaming. So, <laughs> man, my English needs to warm up. If we draw a card, with the Gnomish, then we get the buff more stuff, kind of, right? But um, you still get the buff the Gnomish this way, so it's fine. I think you just want to increase the chance that he doesn't get through your boy. So it's not a, um, it's not a snipe, it's not a freezing, it's not a snake. Explosive gets pretty likely. Any coffee or no caffeine? I have been back on the coffee train because my stomach has been getting better and better. Um, something I'm going to have to live with. It's fine, right? It's not like a huge deal, but I essentially just get uh, heartburn super fast. So <clears throat> just something that I got to pay attention to. And sometimes that means I, I can't have coffee, but it's a lot better now. So it's not it's not making me too... Too miserable. <laughs> hey, Al, what's up, my man? Thank you for the 21. Welcome back. Uh, hosing on this thing seems okay. Let me think. Misdirection is a bit awkward here. Wrong password. This is a 5-7, what the fuck? This is a 5-7, holy shit. Who made this a 5-7? Piggy's a 9-9, this is a 6-10, oh my god. I remember that there was some debate, right? We could pick Batterhead or this thing. Now, I don't know whether Batterhead's better or not, but it's definitely way more fun. Well played. Well played. Hey, give me a minute. When hand buffs go wild. Like 99% of chats are idiots or whatever. I'm glad I'm part of the 10% or, or whatever whatever the meme is. I think the, I think the 360 meme is the same. Yeti's nice, but <clears throat> I think we go a little, we dig a little deeper. Is nerf supposed to be that big? It's not really supposed to be that big, but you know people, so um, unfortunately it sort of has to be that big. <laughs> I'm not even sure if I called out the 21 months owl. I think I did, but once again, man, thank you so much for it. That's part of the rolling out of bed and starting streaming. Mind if I roll need? What nerfs? Can you explain what nerfs happened? How did they nerf? What is the thing? Shady, the cards are all still the same. Burp, burp, burp. 
I have to say, these Grand Street Outfitters on Curve are feeling super good. Like, my god. No, 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 nerves. Excuse me, streamer. I heard you say the word nerves. For great justice. I can see myself playing more Paladin like this. Neither snow nor rain nor witch. He ordered his trade correctly. He knows every aspect of this game. Five mana for a five six. Really overpaying for this body here, to be honest. Way overpriced. Can you imagine paying five mana for a five six? Ah, yes, Kalaresh. But now imagine that you don't play like an idiot. <laughs> it's like with every greedy type, right? It's it's why uh, it's why when 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 Collins picks five shovel fist, he goes twelve. But then, you know, someone random picks five shovel fist and they go two wins, right? <laughs> Let me think. Uh, it's a bit awkward. It is a wee bit awkward. I guess I'm gonna draw so I can play my spider tank and I don't have to bounce. Mm, give me that one health, baby. You're inspired to draft your own hand of Pally. You got zero hand of cards. Yeah, that's the sad part when that happens. That's why I'm not really sure on Pally, because if I get this, it's pretty fun. But if I don't get this, I need a strategy that's, you know, decent and not too boring. Again! Let me think. Hey, hey Circles! What's up, man? How are you? This is a bit awkward, but at least... He has to ping the 1-1 one, one now. Or, you know, flame strike. But, pfft, who plays around that? Things are pretty great, Circles. Things are pretty great, man. <clears throat> Life is good, can't complain. Yeah. Oh god. That's it. I'm dead. Go, go. No mission venter. Oh. An unexpected turn of events. People don't have a code of cold into flame strike, right? Do you think it's good to go aggro or control hunter right now? Um, I think there's aggro control and there's mid-range. And then there's Collins, but he's just memeing, right? I think Collins knows that his archetype isn't the best. I mean, he does well with it, but he could do even better. If he would stop picking shovel fists and shit. <laughs> so, I think it's one of the two, right? It's, uh, it's aggro control or it's mid-range. 
And I think both can work, but mid range is super solid, really standard. Nothing wrong with a with a mid range hunter. Hey, give me a minute. Hey, give me a minute. The classic 11-11 shovel fist. So if you're if you're going mid range, then you're picking you know the the high mains. Fuck! <laughs> that is a really really good five mana card here. Yeah, he has he has options here, right? He has options. Can he find the right play? Dun, 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 dun. Five mana, 11-7. 11-7 rush. He can kill my guy if he wants to. <laughs> I mean, I, I, I think it's better to flip one of his guys. That is true. It's just funny, right? Because it didn't really do anything. But it is true. It's better to flip the one of those than to flip the Gnomish. If you're going to play the cookie, you may as well do it that way. All right, deploy the pile of stats. I developed this pile of stats in the wrong space. Face. If he could go face, I think he would go face. Well, would he? Eh, I don't know, man. Giving me 11 damage. I think trading's probably fine. So we got a really slow card draw in our hand, but the healing versus mage is not irrelevant at all. Let's see if we can find a good turn to do it. Rat into my car. Now heal the piggy. Heal the piggy. <laughs> to buff or not to buff? That is the question after all. I wonder. He could Caligos us here. The instinct is make a dude, so this will make a dude. We sort of whiffed on our good value stuff. There's two saves, a Grizzly and Etten in there. Hose and Healer, Grime Street. Now his Raven can be anything. Even a Raven. But also Jaraxxus. Order lol. This guy. I need to play Blowgill. I got eight mana. I might want to hose in. It's probably time to buff. I do want to get the Bronze Herald out, but let's see. Two, two, that's four plus this. So make a dude or play the squire. It's too good to get the pile of stats out, I think. I could just play the threes instead of healing. That's probably better. Time for my order lol. Oh, that's not bad. I'll play the 4-3 now, because I don't want to rope the, the lackeys. Bastard. Hails, man. Good morning. Evil genius in Pally. I mean, it's not like I have a hero power that activates this thing or something, right? Oh, 
Wow. I don't know if there was a better way for him to do it, but leaving me with a 1-1 against a 5-1, it feels like something went wrong there, but I am down. Doesn't feel like we actually activate the genius yet. Because Soldier and Healer just feel better. This gotta happen, right? This gotta happen. Do I just play a shielded mini here? I'm kind of okay to be greedy. We have to get the most out of our resources here. Still drawing a little light. There's still an Enforcer in there. Grizzly, two saves, Black Knight, Furious Etten. Militia is actually pretty heavy as well right now. I think we're both just pointing at the other guy and be like, Come on, man. Run out of stuff already. <laughs> My deck wasn't designed to kill you. <laughs> oh. oh my god. It was a raven. Something tells me he's going to have more value than I will. Oh my god. Behave. Alright, we hit a save. I think dude, eat the dudes, go from there. Probably just play the safe after that. Hmm. Alright chat, it's time. What's with this 3-2 Echo? Yeah, it's a pretty good card. God damn it! <laughs> He's not having any of it. Can I even get lethal? No, I don't think so. Nothing in the deck really. Unless he plays like a 0-1 a taunt and then I draw piggy and I get a dire wolf off the lackey. I don't know. Hmm. He knows I got. I mean, he knows I got two lackeys. So playing anything like mirror entity or so is pretty awkward here. Not a bad roll. Uh, I think giving him ravens right now is probably slightly better. The problem is. Are you playing around Vaporize? Because you could kill with the 3-7, but then you put it in Flame Strike range and yada 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 yada. So I think maybe face with the 5-5 five five first is actually the way to get the way to do it. But if it's Vape. I mean, it's actually the same, right? Because I'm doing this anyway. Yeah, it's actually the same. Okay. So it looks to be to be vaporize. I think I vaporized the five five. Sadly enough. Yeah, I can't roll a charge minion yet, right? Oh. Okay. Pleasant surprise. But I think I was happier duplicating Ravens, because the Raven is the slower one. If he gets two keysmiths, he can play two secrets here. That'd be pretty annoying. There it is. There it is. I think it's gotta be Nova or Blizzard by now. Uh, I'm not sure. He gets Sunwalkers. But we got a 1 1 on the board. Boop, 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 boop. Uh, they got a bit of a safe. <laughs> they got a bit of a safe to crack. Alright. Oh, you can coin coin ping, that's true. Still doesn't do anything. But it's funny. His own safeguards. Oh, you're right. His own safeguards would do. command the light 
Not sure if you're supposed to keep the Herald when you're drafting like this. But I feel like every time people play this against me, I just walk over them. So I think we're looking for the actual buff cards first. The Herald's nice to get later on and get more value. But it feels that whenever they play it on curve, I just destroy them. Nothing scares me. Except There's the buffer. The light protects me. <laughs> Wee! What fools these mortals be! What fools these mortals be! We're happy playing our own, uh, in our Yeti on board. This is my card to get the card from the other class. He can play his own... Uh... <gasps> he knows. He knows, chat. He knows! What foods these mortals eat? Wait, what? Oh, wow. I'm always killing the Tutu there. That's what I was afraid of. After he kills the Tutu, it'd be bad. I realize I could have coined Black Knight. And I have no good explanation as to why I didn't, other than the piggy looked good. <laughs> Alright. Let's pay a little bit more attention to our moves, shall we? Hmm... It's fine, chat. Now he's never going to realize we have a Black Knight as well. What kind of an idiot wouldn't coin his Black Knight there? I so he's not sitting on a Consecration other than maybe the top deck. I'm pretty okay with disrespecting it then. <laughs> Big ass taunt minion here, baby. Let's go. What is the occasion? Uh, we just dress up on Sundays, Cowbox. I was thinking about Silver Sword, but he takes so much damage. It's kind of okay, I think. Misplays work out. I remember this happened to Pip in a tournament once. Right? Oh, what was his name again? I think it was a Danish streamer he played against. And 
He was so tired that he skipped over the fact that he had a Black Knight in his hand. Mm. And Pip tested with a taunt to see if the opponent had hard removal. And then he played another bigger taunt and then he got Black Knight. And he was like... Ah, oh, this is a dilemma, because you want your True Silver, but it's not a minion. But True Silver stays, so you're asking yourself, do I keep my hand up, guy? My hand up, bro. I think you do. I just sort of hope it works out. Throwing True Silver against the Hunter is just madness. We can't... I, I think, and this is part of why it's difficult to play these more meme -y kind of decks you need to not go full full meme right you need some kind of restraint like in the draft as well because this true silver could have been the seven seven taunt guy um and the argument in draft is like well it's a minion so obviously you know it's better for a hand buff archetype but if you're going to hand buff you fall behind on tempo you need to recover tempo. Well, True Silver is amazing for recovering tempo, so it's it's tough to to um, to make that decision. But sometimes you just gotta step step back from the memes and be like, all right, well, not this pick, right? And then we'll go we'll go next one. Well, remember what I said about recovering tempo. <laughs> True silver looking pretty good here. For justice. <laughs> boopity boopity boop. This paladin deck doesn't go doesn't look too special. What makes it go ten? Uh hand buffs and then taunts. It's pretty simple, but first we buff, then we taunt. And then we hope to outvalue the opponent like that. While staying alive because of the taunts. That is the plan, at least. For justice. And the card quality is definitely not bad. It's got a true silver. It's got a reasonable curve. It's got a black knight, which has hit pretty hard more than once. Uh, it's got a shovel fist, which has been good in the late game. The safes and the Etten really help you stay alive late game. Yeah, it's... it's it's like, I don't think the card quality is nuts or anything, but the deck makes sense. And in the arena, for me, that's always more important than card quality. If your deck makes sense, you're generally going to do better than just a pile of good cards slapped together. But if your pile of good cards makes sense, that's when you have a really good deck. That's Those are the, those are the real dangerous ones. When you draft a pile of good cards, that also makes sense. All right, well, <clears throat> there's a couple of things I could go quite wrong here. Let's hope he has none of them. The sort of good news is that if he resorts to a deadly there, he doesn't have a Hunter's Mark at least. So maybe the next one gets to stick. He's got one more mana now, so he could have a Longbow, he could have Unleashed the Beast, at least our safe is buffed. So we'll see, maybe we get there. There's also a Bartender later in the game, could really start to annoy him. There's a Lay on Hands in the deck, which we might reach. There's more taunts in there as well. That deadly shot was very, very, very good, but not completely out of it yet. Uh -oh. <laughs> Whenever they play Aida like that, you're like, all right. Delicious. Try trade. 
Okay. At least the numbers don't make sense yet for him. That's good. Uh, first instinct is soldier and flesh eating ghoul. You could even go yeti, but I think you just go max stats right now. The only way the coin matters is if he's got Call of the Wild or Shovel Fist. And even then it doesn't really matter because he's going to be on 8 anyway. You could also try to get the bartender out already. Uh, but you don't really want to play a 5 mana card, so I think we save that for mana efficiency. The ghoul might have a target on its on its uh, face or back or whatever you want to call that. So if he trades into the ghoul, that's quite nice for us. <clears throat> Is it just going to be the awful trade for him here? Could be. Does look like it. Nice. nice, nice. That's big. That's actually real big. Do we want the 1-5 in the middle? The 0-5? Yeah, I was thinking about it. There are reasons for both for both uh, ways. <clears throat> I think we're done with him hitting us in the face. I think we need taunts out right now. So I'm probably going to go bartender taunts. I guess the bartender is actually more important than the taunts, funny enough. Yeah, with Hunter getting more and more popular, this sort of really annoying deck is probably going to get a lot better. Drafting these sort of inefficient taunts, but really good at stopping damage. Because safeguards, you're essentially paying six mana for a Sunwalker without Divine Shield when it comes to the pure combat ability. Yeah, this is why I wanted the taunts down, because the Huffer can't go face now. Um, so in sheer combat ability, the, the safe is worse, but when it comes to just stopping damage, it's way better. Oh, wow. Probably that's probably game, I think. We'll see. Uh what are we doing? We're clearing? Yeah, we're clearing. Nice. Man, we just we just survived the call of the wild like like that. It was great. It was good timing for the taunts. I think a lot of people hold them because they want three taunts the next turn, but it was a really good turn to get two taunts out because it just wrecks the huffer. Not another one, please. Time is money, friend. Time is money, friend. All right, we knew that was buffed. So, that couldn't have been another one. Oh wow, that's a lot of hero powers, huh? <laughs> no! <laughs> Pog! Put shit in the right place. I don't like giving him a card here, but I think getting the spider tank out for us is still better. No, you didn't? Uh, where, would, where would you have put the stuff? You would have put the bartender in the middle and gave him the kill on the eddy, or... Let me know. One health in the middle, the bartender, then he just shoots the Eddie. This puts you dead to unleash, isn't it a bit too risky? Um, uh, maybe. 
but not putting shit on the board is also pretty risky. It will give you a 5-3. Wait, what was the pig at? Yeah, sure. I feel like there's a party pooper in the chat. Just let me be happy, okay, my man? Got a two drop he didn't want to play, by the way. The taunt's coming down, so I'm working with six mana. I do know it's a two drop. A stranger will offer you a. I think the Enforcer down makes too much sense. The game shouldn't end in, you know, two turns, at least not for me, right? Maybe for him. So I think getting this guy going and forcing him to deal with it is better. That's why I said the taunt comes down. And I was thinking a 2-6 or a 3-7 stops the huffer all the same, so it's probably fine. Man, we wrecked both his Call of the Wilds. That's so nice. Playing two Call of the Wilds and not getting to hit face with the huffer. That's really annoying. <laughs> Ooh, that's a spicy one here damn that's brutal just brutal man i could do positioning here but i kind of feel like playing the cards now i think we're good play cards do things at this point That sucks, right? You play two Call of the Wilds and they do barely anything. Like, one of the most powerful Hunter cards ever printed. <laughs> he was getting ready for the long game. Good. Who would have guessed? Oh, hey, Deck. You weren't here yesterday when I drafted this, right? I was giving you credit. A couple games in, I was like, you know what? This shit's pretty fun. I basically just took buffs and then taunts. I was like, well, first we buff, then we taunt. Seems good, right?
Take this guy over a batter head. I've not regretted it so far. It's been very fun. Do you wish to live forever? There's no good hits for him here. He agrees. Yeah, I think I would have bumped the 1-1, one -one, but it's not a good hit, right? But it's so meh to hit the 1-1. One -one. I think if you have a ton of other buffs in your hands, it sort of makes sense, because you just want to protect this. Because the stealth minion is guaranteed getting more buffs. Which song is this? Diggy, diggy, oh. The Enforcer only gets one takeoff. But that might be to play. The other one is to get the Herald out and get more buffs. But I feel like the one buff and deal for the disc is probably to play. So deals four, goes to two, goes to four. Still awkward. I currently don't see the out, so I'll just play this and get the buffs out, but it's bad. It's bad. Maybe he doesn't see it, chat. Hmm? Maybe he doesn't see it. It's only at 11 wins, right? Highly complex play like this. One might not see it. Just that Grizzly is not a play, and if I play the Herald and I start splitting, I feel like I just fall off the board so much. And this thing at least gives me some tempo back in the next turns. Dance with me. Oh wow, wait. He must have something. Because he's not doing the thing I'm afraid of. How is that better? It's not. Okay. That's just worse than what I had in mind. He had to sack the worgen to buff the defender, trade, and then heal it up. That would have been problematic for us. But he messed it up. Feels okay, man. The YouTube link does not work. Hmm. All right. I'll give you my, my personal diggy. My personal diggy. Now. Next turn, probably buffing a 5, so kind of want to crack the dragon. This isn't the 10 hour version, though. Tis not. Tis not. This deck only has two spells Smuggler's Run and Lay on Hands. Yep. Yeah. Does have a weapon though, true silver. So three things that aren't minions. I must consider. 
This is the card Arena Fanatic wants to be, right? But yeah, it's just not good enough. Do I get the Grizzly out now that it's four, or do I get a four damage Berserker out? He's got five cards right now. Grizzly is plus one health, so it's gonna be eight. It's gonna be a four eight taunt. I feel like it's probably better to go Berserker and maybe just make him use the death on this thing. So this is now a five. So for death, it's worse, but <clears throat> I feel like this is gonna get death anyway if he has it. Weapons just make your face a minion. Well, the hand buff won't go off and the minion has rush and Divine Shield, and you know, it's 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 very, it, I don't think it's a good comparison at all. It's not just a minion. For Najata. Deploy the boys. Immune to Dragonfire, by the way. Shadow Reaper Anduin, yeah. I recently had a board where I'm like, man, I hope he doesn't Anduin me here. Unleash the dragons. Alright, so he doesn't have death, right? Might have a Shovel Fist, though. We so three cards in his hands, two buffs on this, eleven health grizzly. Hmm. Let me the shovel fist is gonna go the four, meaning my five three can go back in if I kill this. I think I'm okay with that, yeah. Wow, we had death. I'm a little surprised. We had the we had the Gurubashi and he chose to throw his entire board in there. It's a little confusing. Plugin isn't working today. Uh, the deck tracker is on screen, but there's no uh, there's no extension anymore. All right.
Wait, what did he do? Order? Ooh. Getting the Yeti and the Safeguard out here is fine, but I want to buff both of those, so I think I just shovel, but... Or do I actually just go Yeti and Piggy? Hmm. I don't want to waste my Shovel Fist here, I think. Yeah, actually, I'm just gonna go Yeti and Piggy. This feels better. You can draw first. Um, I think I'd rather let the Shovel Fist survive. Now, oh, Master Shaw. Yeah, Shaw is great. It's absolutely insane. Oh boy. Here we go. He appears to be going in chat, and he's got me down all the way to 30. It's getting a little dangerous here. Hmm. I have Shovel Fist for the next big taunt, right? Should probably just get efficiency on the board here. Or do I want the safe out? No, probably not. Well, if, if he mind controls the safe, I black knight. So actually, yeah, I should. I don't think he'll mind control anything but the safe. Maybe the shovel fist, but I would never shovel fist there anyway. Alright, he overloaded himself. That's fine though, that's fine. I forgot about the overload. Quite the shovel fist turn. I'm trading it all because if he MCs the Shovel Fist, I don't want him to be able to trade something else. Alright, looks like he doesn't have it. This four phase. Me trying to save Piggy. I must consider. You have been. Twelve wins with the hand buffs, eh? What a fun little deck. Hmm.
If the game was as easy as to just go like, this card is good, this card is bad, pick, pick this card over that card, acquire 12 wins, you have to kind of look at the deck, right, and be like, well, this is a safe card kind of deck, so you pick it.